friends, this is a Mayra Dike Maise, very high Madrege friends, but story of a Chassid and a Tshayich. Again, we're talking, telling stories of Avram, Avram Kelanda was his name, the Rav of Jembe, Avram Jembe. Now, this fellow became a Rav later in life. You know, he became a Rav. He was a wealthy businessman, and in one, we'll hear the story here. Avram was a wealthy businessman, and he was in the, in the, the timber business. So he rented or owned the large, uh, I guess he rented from the government, tracts of forest, and he would send timber lumber from Russia to Danzig in Germany. Once he was sending... Uh, it's quite feet in that day, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's also going to make boats on, on these huge rafts, these barges. Listen to this. I don't know what this number would mean today, but he said he sent a shipment, literally a shipment, worth 60,000 rubles. But this is millions. Millions, I don't know. Millions and millions of dollars. And you can guess the rest what happened. It all capsized and it was lost. He lost his entire fortune. And he's also in great debt and because he had to send such an amount of goods, obviously, the bank is involved, he borrows it, it's a business. So this disturbed him from his davening. Can you appreciate that? <laughs> More than me, all of your own, all in business, and I'm not. So you understand this, understand that they should never cuss for show and be tested anything close to this. Can this learn? Can't learn. So what he decided to do? He decided that in order that these, that these uh, disturbing thoughts shouldn't disturb him, he's going to set aside time to think about it. I'm not learning now. I'm going to think about the entire situation. Like he was kind of ignoring it. Okay, he's going to get doing his regular thing. Cat, it's just bothering him. Well, it's similar to says in Tanya that, right? In touch with the emotions. Serious sins. It's a time to think about it. It's okay. Based on that, Mr. that's what he did. So he closed the Sefer. He's trying to learn it. He closed the Sefer and he starts to think about all this chashbonus. Going through exactly what happened, all these numbers. When he finished making his chashbonus, he said to himself, no, money I don't have. Because I had to sell the house and the bit of goods that I still left I also had to sell. So that's it. I just uh, done everything I could. What's more, what is there more to think about? Open the safe and was able to look. He just you know, exhausted the whole thing till the end. Came to the end of the road. Rest is I can't do anything anymore. And then he was able to sit alone. This incredible control of being in control of, one, of oneself. And I was telling you, we'll see tomorrow the story in a related story. That's when he became a that's when the, the Reb Marash appointed him Rav of Jembe. And you'll see also later to his, to his, to his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his <clears throat> salary. So a question he had with his meek salary that he had, the question that he had, the Rav's question about what to do with a certain allocation of the money and his conclusion. That will leave for tomorrow.